If you're looking for a plugin that will provide you with SVG icons, then the WP SVG icons plugin by Evan Herman is definitely the plugin to go for. What this plugin does is that it provides you with access to over 490 icons with which you can use to display content on your WordPress website. When you install the plugin, you will see WP SVG icons in here. Let's first of all go down to the settings. And now in here, you can choose whether or not to load the default uh, style sheet that comes with the plugin. Of course, we want to load it. You can choose the default icon element in here from italics to span to H2. And then you can also choose to let the plugin clear all your data whenever you choose to uninstall the plugin. And I'm talking about all the data associated with the particular plugin. For the custom icon set, if you do have your own set of icons that you'd like to load, you have them in here and they also have some documentation on how you can uh, upload your own icons. They do have the documentation in here. Simply click on this link in here. Now let's go to the default icon set. Now in here is where we have all the icons available and you can see them, smiley faces, thumbs up, love, Pinterest, spanners, wrenches, cars. You have all of them in here. Now to actually load these icons, you can just come down here to any one of your posts. Let's go with the very first one. And now in here, you will have access to the add icon button. Let me just go ahead and add some space in here. Now I'm going to click on add icon. And now in here, let's choose an icon to use. Let's go with the uh, football in here. Well, this isn't exactly a football, actually. This looks more like, uh, what, what is this? Support. That is the name associated with it. Support. Uh, let's see. Do we have a football? Okay, well, it's okay. Let's just, uh, let's just imagine this is a football because this is a soccer website. Let's just imagine this is a football. Now, this is the short code that's been generated for us. We can either insert the short code or simply click on insert icon. Now, we can also wrap this symbol with an h1 with an h2 or a span let's just go ahead and wrap it with an h2 so that it's on its own separate line let's insert the icon and now we have the short code in here let's go ahead and update and let's go ahead and view the post and now you can see we have our icon in here let's go back let's edit the post again let's add one more icon let's create some space and uh, let's add the icon. Let's see, what can we add next? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's just go with this face in here, why not? Let's do that and let's wrap it with a span. Let's insert that. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the H2 wrap here to span so that both of them can be on the same uh, line. Let's update, let's view the post. And now you can see we have our two icons showing up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that's how you can make use of all these icons in here. Now I wanna show you something though. In here under the upgrade button, in here you can see the additional features that comes with the pro version of this plugin. You can add colors, links, sizes. However, you can actually do some of these things with the free version of this plugin. Don't tell them that I'm the one who told you how to do this, okay? Because this is only supposed to be available with the pro version. But guess what? You can actually just look at this example that they have in here. It says here that size equals what? 28 pixels. Now, what I can do is to go back. Let me just go back to that post in here. Let's edit the post. And then right here, I can just say size equals and then in codes, let's say 64 uh, pixels. Let me do the same thing in here as well. Size equals uh, 64 pixels, uh, equals. Okay, so now we've added the attribute of size with a value of 64 pixels. Let's update. And now let's view the post. And now you can see that the size is now 64 pixels. We can go even one step further. We can add a color as well, as you can see. Okay, let's go back. Let's edit the post. Let's now add the color attribute as well. So color is going to be equal to, let's say green. 
you can use either the hexadecimal values or just the normal values for the color. So let's say color in here equals, let's go with uh, blue. And let's update. Let's go back, view the post. And there you go, we have the green ball and the blue smiley face. So once again, this was supposed to be only available for the pro version, but you can actually uh, make use of the examples they have in here for the shortcodes to enhance your icons even further. You can add links and so on and so forth. That's all the tips I'm going to give you. They do have more examples in here, so feel free to experiment with... Uh, enhancing your plugins uh, your icons rather they do have animations available as well with the pro version which i don't think you could uh, do with the free version at all so if you're interested it's definitely worth giving the pro version a shot they also have icons for the menu items as well and they also have premium support as well so i'll definitely recommend you taking a look at the pro version of the plugin if you're interested so that's it for the wp svg icons by evan herman thank you for watching and as always i will see you in the next class